day. <laughs> I thought I would come on here and vlog a little bit. And then I'll show you the few things that I got at the Dollar Tree. I was a little disappointed that I didn't have everything I needed. But I think I can make it work with what I found, if that makes sense. I don't mean to be cryptic, but because I don't know if the craft will work, so... We, today is Tuesday, so we got a free T-Mobile Tuesday, was a free red box. Um, so we went and we picked up the 1517 to Paris, I think is the name of it. About the three mar Marines, I believe they were, or former military men, who thwarted a terror attack on a train in Paris. And the three actual heroes are actually in the movie which is so cool so we'll see how that is I do love Clint Eastwood's movie that he directs any movies that he directs anyway so we ran and picked up that I went to the Dollar Tree to look for what I needed and of course it wasn't there <laughs> um, but like I said I think I got something that will work and I got a few things which I'll show you here in a bit then we ran to Walmart because when if you watch the Walmart haul two hauls ago not the not the last Walmart haul but the one before that um Jim picked up two pairs of pajama pants and one of them was the wrong size so he went and he exchanged the pajama pants and we made it to you guys know how I am right <laughs> so we were leaving Walmart and it was 357 358 excuse me it was 357 Walmart I mean uh, the time it takes to get from one side of Rolla to the other isn't very long um, because of the straight shots and everything but we were leaving Walmart and I said um, there was this man who just I was waiting for people to cross the crosswalk and he came from like basically what did he do he came okay so I was I was sitting here and then people were crossing in front of me and he came from like the aisle here and he came around <laughs> me like I was not doing anything and um, he cut in front of me and then he like proceeded to go not any and it's not that he ran over you got it it's not that he was gonna run anybody over but I don't know that he was paying attention to that um, so he just took off and I said to Jim, I said, I guess Jesus doesn't want me to get my Route 44 Blackberry Coke Zero. Everybody say hi to Jim. <sighs> um, because I thought this man was cutting us off, so we weren't going to make it. But we made it. We had $7.42 on my Sonic app and coupons for free ice cream cones that we got one day when we were there. And they had a problem, so they just gave us coupons, which was nice. So, um, we... Went and got soda because it's really warm out today. And Jim got a watermelon slushy. How's your slushy? Doesn't taste very watermelon y, but not today. Yeah, but Aww. they didn't put enough liquid in there. Aw, sad. More ice than liquid. Okay, that's sad. Um, but we, sp we shared the ice cream cone and had our drinks. Jim got his new pair of pants, and then we went and got some stuff. Where'd you put the Dollar Tree stuff? I just wanted to show them real quick what I got. It's not that much, so. I wanted to find the blue <laughs> scarf with the fireworks on it to finish the project, but they didn't have it. But I did find this one. It's kind of pretty. It's blue with anchors. I think it might work. I might have to just alter what I've done so far. But I did find another one of the red with paisley uh, bandana print, I think they call it. Um, and then I'm not there yet. Sorry. I got three of these solar stakes that are Americana because I just saw a craft on Pinterest. I think I'm going to dupe or do my own inspiration of it but I thought it was really cute so I got three of those and I was excited to find this it was on my wish list 
it's just a picture frame, not just, it's a black picture frame, and it says Mr. and Mrs., and I have exactly the picture that's going to go in it. Um, I'm just, I have a picture of me and Jim at Hoover Dam, and it's in black and white, and I'm going to put it in this picture frame instead. So I thought that was cute. Thanks, baby. Thanks, baby. Uh. So far, the craft is coming out good. It's not exactly how I envisioned it, but I think it would be way too much money to do it the way I envisioned it. And then, so I don't know if you guys have seen that they had some false draft. You see it says false. Oop, can't see it, can't see it, can't see it, can't see it. Nope, can't see it. Okay. <laughs> if it's false graph. So false graph is a, um, like a reputable China company. They must have had a closeout. But this cup is, it says, the sticker says it's 18 ounces, which is a great size. And it says start each day with a grateful heart. And it does kind of have a little bit of the bandana print on the back, but not exactly. But it's in red, and I really liked it. They had a bunch that I liked, honestly. <laughs> Jimmy's reading the paper. It was wrapped in. Sorry, I think it caught my eye. It's okay. And then the last thing, which was also on my wish list, was a little white horse. Um, I don't know if you guys have seen these before. I was trying to describe this to mom. Not really cubist, but a minimalist art is the kind of art I like. When I was in, thank you, when I was in high school, I actually carved um, the Virgin Mary with the baby Jesus in wax, and I called it Madonna of the Wax. Well, you know, it's funny because... If I could... I'm sorry, I was kind of in the middle of a story just now. And I really carved her with that minimalist look. She, like, didn't have facial features. She had, like, the shape of, like, the top of that, like, headdress that you've always seen her wear and stuff. Um, so I just have always really appreciated that art. So what are we saying? What's funny? Well, it, granted it's ceramic, but it almost looks, I mean, by the very shape and design, looks like something that somebody might have, like, taken a piece of block of wood and just... Oh, yeah, for sure. Chilled out. carved it? Yeah. I was thinking it'll look like the horse that they rode into Troy. <laughs> Doesn't it? I put wheels on it and be like, that's the horse they rode into Troy. And then we just ran to Aldi's to get milk and lettuce because tonight is gyro night. Woo, woo. Excited, excited. I mean, you don't need the milk for gyros, but you need the lettuce. And now we're going to go home. Okay? See you later. So, funnily enough, I was just speaking to Valerie yesterday. Valerie, um, just as one of the... Need the key to get in. Are you just moving the solar light? I don't understand what's happening. Yeah, okay. You'd... Anyhow, uh, Valerie was just sharing with me that she had a craft... That was like the fireworks or the firecrackers and her husband threw them out and we got into a talking about how i'm everybody loves jim but jim is a consistent chucker outer of stuff like he threw he threw away slip covers like i had a set of green slip covers and a green tablecloth when we lived in new york and he threw them out actually he thinks he donated them but i just only had on them i only had used them one time <laughs> yeah. Can you give me your bag? Yeah, I'll take a bag. Okay. Thank you. You want your drink? Yeah. Thank you. Sorry about that. So, we were talking about, like, um, oh, yeah. So, we were talking about, like, how they throw them out. So, I want to show you something. Let me turn this around. So, I don't know if you can see the four lights there's one there there's one there uh, let's see if we can't get it from this side I think you can see oh, I don't know if you can even see it there's that one that one there and then there's one at the other end of the driveway right there and the one that's in the middle of the driveway on that side, which is mom's side, I noticed 
that the plastic tube was shorter and there was a broken piece of plastic tube laying in front of it. So I said, oh, the guy who cuts the grass must have hit it with a weed whacker or something and just replaced it back onto the broken piece of tube. Well, he came the other day and he must have broke the rest of it because then I found it all laying on the ground. Um, if you have these at your house, you know, you can pull them out and you can mow right over the little stakes that are in the ground. You can mow right over them safely and then you can just put them back. As long as the stake is in the ground per properly, that shouldn't be a problem. So if you have these, that's how you avoid that. Um, but I took it out and I put it on the barbecue so that I can bring it inside and DIY it. But I left it on the barbecue to remind me, to remind Jim to change out one of the extra ones. Not extra, but we have two by the front door that we don't really need there for light. And I just asked him to switch one out. So I said, where is the broken one so that I can bring it inside? And he's like, oh, I threw it out. And I was like, well, why? I said, just because the plastic tube's broken, the solar light still works. And I said, first of all, a lot of times you can replace those plastic tubes. Like, I just bought these... I just bought these from the Dollar Tree and the craft that I have in mind is only going to use the top. So I was like, well, I could have just replaced it, painted this black and replaced it. You know, like, why would you throw the light out? That doesn't even make sense. So here's the thing. <laughs> um, I often say that I have a non-minimalist approach to my decorating um, and I like the things I do give things away I do I do um, create things and, and gift them and I do like if anybody needs anything I'll be like oh I have that at my house let me just get it so I'm not a hoarder who has to like hold on to everything but to me I know there's, there's like five projects that use the top of a solar light. That project that I'm going to do tomorrow, granted it's the Americana solar lights, but that project that I'm going to do tomorrow uses just the top of the solar light. So why would you throw out the top of the solar light just because the plastic tube is broken? Like that doesn't even make sense to me. And then I asked him, where were the four we had before that? Because we have four other ones that actually what had broken on those four were the things that went in the ground. Um, I had one over there by where the garbage cans go, and I think that the garbage men don't really pay a mind to my um, solar lights, and they've broken them in the past. Um, and those had metal tubes, so it snaps the thing off in the ground. So I was like, where are those ones? Because I asked him to put those in the shed. He goes, I think I threw them out too. And I was like, <coughs> why? <coughs> Like, I'm not trying to be a hoarder, and I'm not trying to have a house that's Sanford and Son, or a house that is just for stock, like, just for supplies. But when it's something like that, first of all, it's a solar panel. There's, like, 90,000 life hacks that have a solar panel. Like, you can turn it into, like, a portable charger for your phone when you're camping by taking the solar cell and putting it in um, a... Altoids box with the charger thing from the Dollar Tree and making like a phone charger for like an emergency phone charger while you're camping. Like there's like things like I'm not just making that up, but there are you just take that and put it inside a mason jar. The tops of the lot of the solar lights fit inside the lid of the mason jar and you just I actually have one. He has a Mountain Dew ma mason jar that I actually made into a light just like that. So I was like, what are you thinking? Like, what's the, what's the cause, you know? So, um, I'm not getting on here to just complain about Jim, but, <laughs> but it's so funny because, you know, we do have a, we do have a marriage and it works and it's working right now. And, it, you know, we've had ups and downs, I guess, just like every other marriage, we've had huge challenges that may have broken other marriages, um, in fact, I know for a fact of marriages that have broken for things like the challenges we've overcome. Um, 
I'm not going to get into detail, but you know, for sure. Like I know people who have left their husbands for doing stuff that Jim has done in the past. So, um, I'm not trying to ever, you know, right now we're in a good space today, <laughs> May 29th, 2018 at 4 37 PM. We're in a good space, even though that he threw out my solar lights, like, why would you do that? But still we're in a good space. Because it's petty stuff. Um, it's just petty stuff. Even with the big stuff, it's just petty stuff. Because it's really what it's all about. You look into someone's heart and you see what's on their heart. And that gives you an insight into their soul a little bit. And in my opinion, maybe I'm gifted because I can see that past the little things. I don't know. But anyway, I'm vlogging today. because I don't have any crafts finished and I'm making the gyro kit tonight and I might show you how I cook that on the electric griddle I like to cook at the electric griddle on the table when I'm not feeling 100% because I don't have to waste extra energy standing at the stove um, some days I've mentioned this before some days I, I have 10,000 steps to spend some days I only have 6,000 steps to spend and some days I have 30,000 steps to spend some days I feel like I can walk a mile and then some days I feel like I can barely get off the couch and that's the that's the nature of the disease you know but still it's it's um today is a day that I feel like I went to the store and I looked for what I needed and I ran around and I did that so I'm probably gonna and I made myself breakfast a healthy breakfast which did require me standing at the stove um, so I'm probably going to make the gyros at the table. Um, also, the electric griddle doesn't create the heat as much as the um, putting the stove on. It's weird. I don't even know why that is. Um, so we'll see. That should be fun. If we take it out of the freezer in time. Because if not, ooh, we won't be able to make it tonight. So we'll see. Okay? Well, that's it for this vlog. I really appreciate you letting me chat with you guys today. Um this tiny Dollar Tree haul and um, you know what we did today and if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below give Jim the thumbs up because even though we've had troubles and he throws out my lights he's a rock star and he's doing it all and if you haven't yet click subscribe and when you do a little bell will pop up when you ring that bell YouTube will let you know whenever I upload a new video and as always how do I look looking good today Looking good, Mr. Cat. Um, as always, you take care. God bless you next time.